Would you like to know how to think like an entrepreneur? I'm going to tell you how right now on this episode of the Unlock Success Podcast. This is the Unlock Success Podcast. We're helping entrepreneurs around the world dive deep into the keys you need to shatter excuses, believe in yourself, and help you achieve your highest goals. Here's your host, eight-figure entrepreneur and the living legend of internet marketing, Anthony Morrison. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Anthony Morrison here, and welcome to this week's Unlock Success Podcast. You know, on this podcast, my goal is to not only just share with you my life experiences and the things that I've gone through here in business and, and obviously uh, in other parts of my life, but to also kind of give you that mindset shift that you may need in order to take what you're doing to the next level. You know, a lot of times, uh, if you follow me, I'm teaching the X's and O's of internet marketing. I'm teaching what to click on and where to put an ad and how to send an email and all of these things. But the reality is, is that all of those things are great and, and we, we certainly need to learn those things. There's, there's no doubt about it. But the, the reality is that, that more important than the, I guess, the, the, the clicking and the techie stuff is really having the right mindset and and on the unlock success podcast my goal is to kind of help you have a window into the way that i think uh, which obviously determines how i act and 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 the actions that i take and and those things are are, are directly responsible for the success that i've had so um you know on on today's episode the topic that i want to talk about is you know listen how to think like an entrepreneur i mean do entrepreneurs actually think differently than other people are there really key qualities you need to have as an entrepreneur that, that really propels your business to being successful? And most importantly, if you don't have these already, is it possible to learn them? Is it possible to acquire them, right? And I think the answer to all of these questions is a resounding yes. I truly believe you can learn to be and to think like an entrepreneur. And I'm gonna share with you five key character traits. Now, if you're a note taker, uh, you probably wanna write these down and, and think through them. And, and every time you have a new venture or you have to make a big decision, you know, review these notes, okay? So look, again, if you're, this is your first time here on the Unlock Success Podcast, you know, my name is, is Anthony Morrison and I'm a digital marketer and I've been doing this for over 15 years now. And, and one of my favorite things to study is, is not just, like I said, the methods and the, and the tactics and the X's and O's, but the mindset that it takes to run a successful company. Since beginning, I think I, I started this about uh, a year ago, right? Um, and I, I, just, I decided to take some time to just turn on the mic, right? Record myself and give you some of my best strategies and, and stories for my life. And, and hopefully it's gonna help you on your journey and, and help you as an entrepreneur. Um, so what I want to do is I want to get into the five key things, the five key things that you need to think like an entrepreneur. Now, key number one is knowledge. Listen, without knowledge, it's impossible to master anything, right? It's, it's like losing all of your senses and, and, and going into a scenario completely blind, right? Look, knowledge not only teaches you how to be successful, but it also teaches you what to avoid in your venture. And you know, a lot of times people will, will tell you that the key to success is just acquire knowledge. No, 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 it's useful knowledge. It's knowledge that matters, right? Listen, there are people that are brilliant. They have more knowledge than anybody you can possibly know, right? They can recite lines from 75 different books. They can remember everything they read, and yet they're still not successful, right? They're still not successful as entrepreneurs. They're, they're, not, they're not making a lot of money. They're not building big businesses. Why is that? Well, it's be for two reasons. Number one is because remember I told you there's five keys to thinking and acting like an entrepreneur and that's only one of them, right? And the second thing is, is that a lot of times people just acquire useless knowledge. It takes up space in their heads, right? In their brains, but you don't really need it. So the caveat I would say to acquiring knowledge is to acquire useful knowledge, to be precise with your, with your, you know, your journey to, to learn and learn the things that you need to know, stay away from the stuff that you don't need to know. All right. Key number two, confidence. Listen, I don't want you to confuse confidence with arrogance. Okay. Confidence is, is positive thinking. Confidence gives uh, your clients and your customers comfort working with you. Listen, without confidence, 
when you lack confidence, what it really means is that you lack belief in yourself. And that's the old, like when you believe fully in yourself and you believe that you're great at what you do, or you believe you know what you're talking about, you, you have the confidence to relay that, right? To take those actions, to, to give those speeches, to, you know, do those trainings, whatever it may be. And so without that confidence, and basically leading to the fact that you don't believe in yourself. I mean, everybody will tell you, you gotta, you gotta love yourself before somebody can love you and you gotta believe in yourself before anybody else is going to. So you've gotta have confidence in order to think like an entrepreneur because you gotta fully believe that you know and that the decisions you're gonna make are the right decisions you, that for you to make, right? So this is very important. Key number three, I would say is motivation, right? Look, motivation is what kills complacency. You know, uh, being complacent is extremely dangerous because it keeps you in your comfort zone, right? And when you're in your comfort zone, you're not finding new things. You're not acquiring new ideas and new knowledge and new networking. Like you're just kind of hanging out right here in this little comfort zone. It's the worst place for entrepreneurs to land, but unfortunately it's where a lot of them do land. But when you have motivation, what happens is you're always out, you're always on the go, you're always looking and learning and, and trying to learn new things and, and focusing on different ideas and strategies and tactics and business opportunities. And so when you're motivated, right, you, you by default can't really be complacent, you know, which means you never get stuck in that comfort zone. So if you ever find yourself, you like wake up at the, you know, on say Friday morning, right? You go to your job or you, or you, you go to your, your, your office and midday Friday, you look back at the week and you say, man, I really don't think I've done anything. I don't feel accomplished. Take a look and see if you've been really motivated that week. Have you been hanging out in your comfort zone where you just wake up and you do the same routine every single day? Or have you been stretching? Have you been breaking free? Have you been getting out of the comfort zone? Have you been trying new things, exploring new opportunities? I guarantee you, if you feel on Friday like you haven't accomplished much and you really haven't done much, it's because you haven't lived a motivated week, right? Super, super important. Key number four is strategy. Strategy is simply just having a plan, right? You can have a ton of knowledge in something, uh, you know, for instance, like in our field, email marketing, but without a strategy on how to monetize that or how to turn it into something long term, it's going to fail, right? So strategy is key. Listen, there are a ton of people that understand real estate, but there are very few that are massively successful. Why are some successful and others are not? Well, it's because the successful ones probably possess more of these, you know, five keys to thinking and acting and doing like an entrepreneur, but one of them is probably they have better strategy. You know, the strategy goes into everything as an entrepreneur, you know, the strategy of how you're going to launch your product, what audience are you going to, you know, promote it to, you know, how are you going to make an offer? I, I'm, I'm actually making an offer right now on a self storage facility that, that we're involved in. And there's a lot of strategy to this offer. Um, we've, we're competing with somebody else. So somebody else has come in, they've made an offer. We've made an offer. Now, how do we win? A lot of times people would say, well, just throw money at it. Your strategy is pay more. Well, that's not what smart entrepreneurs do. So for me, I know my strategy. I live in Mississippi. It's a small town. The seller is from Mississippi. The buyer or the other buyer we're competing with is from Florida. So they're from out of town. And, uh, I, I started looking back and I'm like, man, my dad used to have a storage unit at this, uh, at this particular facility. And so I start thinking what I'm going to do is set up a face to face meeting with the seller and I'm going to let the seller get to know me. I'm going to let the seller get to know my story. I'm going to let get the seller to have some kind of relationship, some kind of mental and, and, and even just physical emotion towards me. Right? Because I know that that's what makes people tick here, right? In small towns. You'd much rather sell to the local person than to the big company, right? And so part of my strategy is understanding people and understanding what makes them tick, right? So again, successful entrepreneurs think differently, right? And they always have strategy. So just an example from, uh, from my life, what's currently happening right now and what I'm doing. And then resourcefulness is key number five. You know, look, don't take no for an answer. Um, you know, no can be your biggest motivation. It was for me. Uh, there's always a better solution uh, or a less expensive solution or a faster solution, right? When I wanted to sell my book, I literally called QVC and I said, hey, 
I'm going to sell my book on television and I would like for you to let me come on and sell it. This will be awesome. I'll sell lots of books. And they laughed. They literally laughed at me. It was hilarious. It, actually, looking back at it, it was funny. They laughed at me. And I said, well, my gosh, you know. Now, a lot of times people would say, okay, well, they said no, so TV's not going to work. But what I did was I just, I, it motivated me. It turned it into motivation. So I created a new strategy. I became more resourceful. And within a year after having that conversation, I filmed my own television show. It was on national television selling my book. Sold millions of copies, right? How did I do that? right? I did it by being resourceful, right? And not taking no for an answer. You cannot live your life letting other people tell you no and you accepting it, right? If you believe in what you're doing and, and, you, and you truly believe that what you're doing is, is, is the right thing and the right thing for you, then you got to push forward. And no matter how many no's you get, you just simply keep opening new doors until you find the one that lets you walk through. That's how successful entrepreneurs are. If somebody had told me no, well, if I had listened to the person that told me no and laughed at me about putting my book on television, I probably wouldn't be here, uh, you know, giving this podcast and, and you probably wouldn't be listening to anything that I have to say. But instead, I took that as motivation, kind of a slap in the face. And I said, all right, I'll show you what's up, you know, and off we went. And so I think that it's very important, you know, successful entrepreneurs, we think differently, right? when we hear no, we don't process it the same way that a normal person would process it. We process it as, okay, great. Thank you for your opinion. Now let's move on because I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyway, right? And a regular person, like somebody that's not an entrepreneur, hears the word no, and they just think it means no. Like they accept no for face value. Entrepreneurs do not accept no for face value. And these are the five keys that I truly believe if you focus on these things, okay, you can begin to think like an entrepreneur. And when you start thinking like an entrepreneur, you start acting like an entrepreneur. And it's those acts, right? It's those acts, it's those things that we're doing that are moving and shaking your business and your life, right? And so it all starts right here. So I hope that this has been a, uh, been a very informative episode here of the podcast. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I truly hope that you've written these five things down and that you'll stop and focus on these things because I do believe these things can help you be more successful. Thank you for joining me on this episode. And I look forward to seeing you next week with another episode of the Unlock Success Podcast.